Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves for the great solemnity of Pentecost tomorrow, let us allow today Our Lady to accompany us as she accompanied the Apostles in the coming of the Holy Spirit to them. Like Mary, may we open our hearts and our whole lives to the inspiration and power of the Holy Spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, 
you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they prayed with Mary, the mother of Jesus, grant that through her intercession we may faithfully serve your majesty and extend by word and example the glory of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is an account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold his searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked, the lovers of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just this. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Please stand. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We hear today the conclusion of the Gospel of John, which we have been hearing for the past weeks. And the conclusion of the Gospel of St. John points to the beloved disciple, the disciple whom Jesus loved. He was not named. Hindi siya pinangalanan. Hindi siya nagpakilala. He was just known as the disciple whom Jesus loved. And not just the disciple whom Jesus loved, but also the disciple who loved Jesus. For in our gospel today, he was always described as the one who followed Jesus. The one who was close to Jesus. The one who always reclined beside Jesus. Isn't that a beautiful way to be known by people? The one who loved Jesus and the one whom Jesus loved. Napaisip tuloy ako kanina. If the disciple here in the gospel was known for his love for Jesus, what am I known for? <laughs> ano kaya ang pagkakakilala sa akin ng mga tao? Saan kaya ako kilala? Kung ang alagad ni Jesus ay kilala, sa kanyang pag-ibig sa Panginoon, sa kanyang pagiging malapit sa Panginoon, saan kaya ako kilala? Maybe it is good for us to ask today, what am I known for? If the beloved disciples was, disciple was known for his closeness to the Savior, what am I known for? Alam niyo po, noong nagsimula ang mga online masses ng Manila Cathedral, suddenly, I found myself known by people. 
nagugulat tuloy ako minsan, naglalakad lang ako sa daan, may nakatingin ng masama sa akin, no? at nakatitig sa akin, akala ko may utang ako sa kanya, and then suddenly, he will come forward and say, Father, I watch your online masses. But let us think, no? I also am thinking, what am I known for? Am I just known as the one who celebrate the online mass? What am I known for? Am I known for my love for Jesus? In our first reading today, we hear of St. Paul. For many of the Romans, St. Paul was not even named. Yesterday, in our first reading, when Festus and King Agrippa, Herod Agrippa, was talking about St. Paul, he was not named. He was just called the prisoner. But even if he was not named, he was known as the prisoner for Christ. He was the man for Christ. He was not known for his name, for his rank, for his status in life. He was known as the man who preached Jesus. Even if he was in chains, even if he was a prisoner, he was known for his love for Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, at the end of our lives, we seek not just to become beloved by this world, but we become more as a beloved of God. Let us remember and ask ourselves, what good is it for a man to be loved by this world and yet be far from the love of God? Bagaman si San Pablo ay kinaiinisan, kinagagalitan ng marami, at pinakulong pa nga at kung titingnan natin, ay hindi siya mahal ng mundo. Pero para sa kanya, ang mahalaga, mahal siya ng Diyos. There are people now who are hated by this world. There are people who are even imprisoned by this world because they hate him or her. But in the end, what matters is not the love of this world. What matters is if we are known by our love for God and the love of Jesus for us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves for the Feast of the Pentecost tomorrow, let us ask Our Lady to accompany us. Our Lady who was known not for her own beauty, not for her own name or for her own self. Our Lady who was known because of her love for Jesus and the love of Jesus for his mother. In the end, what matters is that we are called the beloved of God. Amen. Please stand. Jesus, who himself came to people as a servant in obedience to his Father, wants us to keep God's interests above all things. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the leaders of the Church may be true servants 
acting with the same concern that, Jesus, that Christ showed to his apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may be faithful to their com commitments and fulfill their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who experience difficulties may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may realize that their suffering, undertaken in union with Christ, can be turned into blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace in God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, your Son placed your interest above all else even to the extent of suffering for humankind. Grant that we may always honor him by making him most important in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. By your favor, O Lord, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, May our offering obtain for your church this grace, that she may grow in the number of the faithful and be ever radiant with an abundance of virtues. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after His resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight. 
that He might make us sharers in His divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having partaken, O Lord, of these helps to our salvation in our commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles, we humbly beseech you that persevering in your will and in service of the human family, your people may draw ever closer to salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel for the Novena to the Holy Spirit. Today is our last day of our Novena prayer. And on this day, we pray for the fruitfulness of every effort at home and abroad to bring the gospel to others by the missionary discipleship to which each of us is called. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. In the Trinitarian plan of salvation, the Father draws us to the Son, whom the Holy Spirit reveals and disposes us to welcome. As the Lord and giver of life, the Holy Spirit brings about our rebirth in baptism as the Father's adopted children in Christ and as sharers in divine life. Jesus calls the indwelling Holy Spirit our paraclete, which literally means one who stands beside us as a counselor, consoler, advocate, and friend. The Holy Spirit leads the Church into all the truth and is the source and dynamic force of the Church's unity and mission. It is no wonder then that in every age, the fruitfulness of the Church depends on the renewal of the mystery of Pentecost in the minds and hearts of believers. This is the renewal that we seek in our Novena. May the Holy Spirit rekindle the grace of baptism and confirmation in every Catholic so that all may live the Christian life with fervor and zeal. Let us all together pray. Holy Spirit of the, of the Father, Father and, and of, of the Son, Son Spirit of, of love, love, enlighten us, strengthen us, guide, guide us, and, and comfort us, you, you who pray and act in us. Make, make us know the Father by contemplating the face of the Son who reveals Him, so that we may proclaim the divine love of the Most Holy Trinity. Make our life a sign of love. Make the Church a living word, an uplifting presence, a consecration of the world to the Trinitarian love that creates, redeems, and sanctifies, now and forever. Amen. Mary, Star of Evangelization, pray for us. Let us now stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.